Hey, what's up, everybody? So, I just came across some information um, today that uh, is kind of interesting, and I think it's going to help out a lot. It's going to help a lot of us, um, especially on the the reefer reefer side, as far as you guys' waiting time and stuff. Um, so. I'm delivering at CNS Wholesale in uh, ba Brattleboro, Vermont. All right, and they have this paper up, and you know a lot of you guys. I don't know if you guys read everything. I'm actually the guy when I'm in line. I read every. I'll read every sign that they've got put up, and uh, this one it, it kind of caught my eye. I, I actually like what they're what they're trying to do. So <clears throat> this one says to all all carriers and manufacturers um, the subject is elimination of payment at receiving at the receiving docks for freight unloading services. Yeah. So in effort to continue to improve warehouse receiving efficiency efficiency CNS wholesale grocer will transition away from accepting payments at our receiving docks at facilities where it offers freight unloading services. We will be eliminating cash, check, and direct bill transactions altogether as doing so will increase the safety and security for all parties involved. Uh, <clears throat> payments for freight unloading services will be deducted weekly and load level detail will be, will be provided. So they're going to direct bill the customer for for the lumper fee and stuff instead of you actually calling the broker you know late at night trying to get a hold of somebody to give you a com check code and then you have to go in and wait <laughs> right to get unloaded a lot of these places I was at one the other day you have to actually have the com check filled out and give it to them before they even start unloading you right you know so this right here is going to help and it's going to eliminate that process and i'm going to continue reading a little bit more of it because not all of them are doing this though it's 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 a majority but i like it um all right so it says Please note that this change will only affect facilities in the in which CNS Wholesale supports the freight unloading services and that any of our locations supported by the third party. Uh, the third party partner Capstone Logistics or customer managed locations will not be affected. Uh, we have attached information be below detailing which CNS Wholesale locations are supported internally versus which locations are supported by the capstone logistics or are customer managed All right, CNS understands that this new process will require coordination between our manufacturers and the carriers that deliver into the CNS distribution centers our goal is to allow sufficient time for all manufacturers and carriers to receive and understand the CNS payment policy set up and to implement compliance practices. CNS will provide updates as we define a timeline. Or CNS will provide updates as we define a timeline of when each location will transition to the deduction process. We thank you in advance for your cooperation. Questions, concerns. Uh, regarding this payment policy should be directed to the logistics program team and operations and operations finance okay so there's a there's a pretty big list of CNS wholesale distribution centers that are actually doing this um, some of the ones that are not going to be affected um, are Du Bois Pennsylvania Robsonia, Pennsylvania, I guess that's how you do it. Um, uh, Houston, Texas. 
So those are CNS capstones. Those are there's four of them. I can't but can't pronounce the other one. It's Capelli or something like that. Um, and then some of the grocery distribution centers. There's three grocery distribution centers that won't be affected, and there's five perishable places that are not going to be accepted. Um, I'm going to post a picture of this as the thumbnail. That way it's there and you guys can uh, kind of use it as a reference. So, yeah, I, I think that's that's going to eliminate a lot of our waiting time. So, even if this ELD, ELD mandate goes through, you know, I know there's a protest going on with it right now. But, uh... <coughs> That, that's most of our waiting time right there is waiting for them to count the, the stuff waiting for them to to even start unloading you you know um, and I'm sure people that deal with brokers or even heck even company drivers that deal with dispatch night dispatch you know if you have to get a comm check it's like you know if it's after hours it's like pulling teeth sometimes to get this check. Now, I, I we actually don't have that problem where I'm at because I just call dispatch and they they issue me a code real quick. I, we have 24/7 dispatch. They issue me a com check and then they bill it. Um, they just you know bill it to the to the broker for me. I just submit a receipt and stuff like that. Uh, I do have to get it okayed from the broker, so I have wait. I have had to wait like an hour almost one time to actually get the broker because it was a small brokerage company. I had to actually get them to wake up out of bed to approve, you know, the lumper. Um, so I don't know. Uh, this is going to be interesting. Um, because there, there's a ton of these places that are actually going to do this, so I'm I'm excited to see how it's how it's going to play out. Um, I'm sure you reefer guys are pretty <laughs> pretty excited about it too, because that's going to eliminate a lot of your guys' uh, you know issues and stuff like that. So thanks for watching, man, and I'm going to get this video put up i know i haven't done anything in a while uh just been really busy so thanks for watching man and i'll talk to you later